Okay, today our reading is from Colossians 3, 23 to 25. Whatever you do, work, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for their wrongs, and there is no favoritism. Um, so, uh, whatever you do, work with all your heart. I, I really liked that. It was a, It's a simple phrase, but it has such a deep meaning. Um, never does the scripture say to work hard for yourself or even for your family, but to work for the Lord. Um, just this small piece of scripture helps remind me of what my purpose is in life, or more specifically, purpose is. Um, uh, many times when people search for their purpose, they look for that one thing. Like, I want to be a professional athlete, or I want to be a successful lawyer, or I want to pursue a certain position at work. Um, while some of these things could be your calling, I don't feel that any of us have just one calling. Um, God has multiple for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and divert away uh, for just a second and bring up a few names. The first is Warren Sapp. Um, if you guys know anything about football, Warren Sapp's debatably one of the greatest defensive, tackle, uh, defensive tackles the NFL's ever seen. Um, with his long career, um, his total earnings brought him over $82 million. But just a few years ago, um, uh, Warren Sapp filed bankruptcy. And he only had a little over uh, $800 to his name. So he went from $82 million to $800. Um, after searching Warren's house, his closet was found holding um, over 240 pair of valuable Jordan sneakers, um, lion skin rugs, valuable jewelry, and much, much more. Really, football was all Warren sat knew, and before he knew it, life without football sent his bank account to the dirt because he was living as if he still played and uh, and made all that money you know I, and after football Warren uh, I'm uh, um, after football Warren w went a bit silent I mean he was an analyst on a few sports networks but he never really did find any other calling you never really saw him around as much as you did when he did play football um, uh, so he just kinda like slipped off the slipped off the grid um, uh, on the other spectrum um, there's Dwayne Johnson which most people know him as The Rock uh, if, they, if they knew his wrestling name um, uh, he had much more to his life uh, than just wrestling, though. Um, after playing college football at Miami, um, uh, and shortly thereafter turning to wrestling, um, uh, Dwayne only continued to find multiple callings. Actor, model, um, uh, building one of the greatest bodies in Hollywood, uh, singing, dancing, voicing animated characters, releasing his own clothing line, and even claiming the world's sexiest man alive last year. Um, it's safe to say that Dwayne is doing well. Um, unlike Warren, Dwayne continues to venture out in life, and he finds that next thing that's going to help push him forward. Um, uh, and while money is certainly no measure for a prosperous or holy life, the metaphor kind of relates in this situation, whereas when Warren, you know, he kind of focused on that one thing he was never able to advance, but Dwayne, you know, he was constantly pushing towards doing something else and something else and something else, and he continued uh, to make more money, and he, can, and he continued to kind of prosper in life. Um, uh, and, uh, and certainly for Dwayne, he is one of the richest men on earth today. Um, and the same way described with Dwayne and Warren, God works with us. You know, God has callings for us. They, they are to simply do all things through him, multiple things, more than just one. Um, uh, if you can't find a way to make a certain task God-centered, um, that's just something you should scrap. God doesn't want it. But the things that we do work toward to, um, and, and push to achieve, um, do them all for the Lord. So losing weight building muscle, running a 5k, bench pressing over 300 pounds, lowering your blood pressure, work hard to do all these things, not for yourself, but make them God-centered, and try to do it as much as you can. Um, just as the scripture says, if you do this, God will reward you with something more than money, or a house, or a car. Uh, he'll give you eternal gift that you can't, that can't be replaced. Um, if, every task, if every task you do is God-centered, I can assure you that you're on good terms with him. Um, uh, but if you do these things for yourself or others without any recognition for God, um, uh, you'll spiritually go broke, just as Warren did. Um, so my goal in the future is to look what I'm doing uh, at any given moment and try to give that moment to God. Uh, simple, a simple little moment or something really complex. Everything we do belongs to God, uh, and I believe He expects our full attention. So thank you guys for reading today.